Hi everybody. Um, I've had a, a few people ask about um, sort of audio and video quality when they're recording or streaming lectures, and I realized I have a lot of stuff around here. Uh, it turns out cameras and microphones have accumulated in my life over the years, and I thought I'd do a demo just since I can. So right now what you're seeing is me being recorded on just a little webcam that cost a few bucks. Um, it'll look about like uh, a laptop webcam, uh, pretty similar. And the same for the audio. The audio is coming from the webcam that's, that's over here. It's about an arm's length away from me and it sounds like garbage. And the first thing I'm going to do is a setting. I'm using open broadcaster software. Uh, let's have a look at the audio first. So remember, um, for video quality, I'm probably less concerned. Mostly you're going to see it like this, right? It's going to be me, at least the way I'm planning to do it, a small little corner of the window. So probably, um, probably doesn't matter too much. Um, so this is what I have on my screen right now. This is OBS doing its thing. And you can see I have the, the microphone from the webcam here. The reason it sounds like garbage is the, the noise. It's the noise from my computer fan and just from the room. And if I stop talking, you see the audio level is still quite high. So the way to deal with that is to add a noise filter. And I'm going to do that. That's already been done on all of the uh, other, see, uh, all the other things already have the noise filter. Now, if I stop talking, you can see the audio level is basically down to zero. Um, just doing that, just adding a noise filter to a cheap microphone, world of difference, even more so if it's on a laptop. Um, just because uh, on the laptop, you're, you're, the microphone is physically connected to the fans. Um, you're going to get that noise coming across. So um, that's uh, the first thing to do, just a, a setting in the software. Um, if you want the audio a little bit better, um, one option that I suspect a lot of people have is they might have some kind of a headset, um, you know, that they may be used for video conferencing or whatever. Um, the microphone is close to my face. So let's switch to that. Okay, uh, and now I'm on the headset mic. And the webcam mic is off. Um, so this is what I sound like on this microphone and the headset, especially if you want to monitor, monitor audio, maybe this is a way to go. Um, maybe you have it, uh, a decent headset like this, maybe $60 up to 160 or so. Probably a USB connected microphone is a way to go. Um, you'll just get less um, electrical noise that way. Um, the audio is digitized close without a lot of computer uh, interference and stuff. Um, so again, just this, I think is probably pretty good. Um, the other option um, that uh, some of us might be used to is um, a little uh, uh, clip-on lav mic. Um, wait, I have a I have a, a way to do a visual aid here. Um, so this little clip-on microphone um, that you can get uh, a USB clip-on mic for I don't know thirty or forty dollars Canadian on Amazon. I'll try to link to one below. Let's switch to that. So I'm still on the headset. And this is the lav mic. Um, I think there's a, an audio sync problem here. Um, but anyway, um, I have it hooked up a kind of janky way. But so this is a mic, again, microphone closer to my mouth, farther away from noise sources is going to sound better. And again, like this is hands-free. There's nothing on my head. Um, if I was going to buy something, this is the this is my suggestion. Again, under 40 bucks on Amazon, plug it into a USB port, clip it on your shirt like you're used to doing in a lecture hall anyway, off you go. Um, so that's a that's an upgrade I would definitely recommend for people. Um, coming back to video, uh, again, this is just the, the webcam and it's probably fine, especially because you're gonna be down in a little window. Um, the first upgrade I'd suggest there is honestly light. Um, so what I have here is just a little ring light, again, uh, $35 or something on Amazon. And if I turn that on, let's go for the side by side. So this is me just with a room light. That's okay. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> but with a nice light in front of me, it, it lets the camera have a little more light to work with. 
it colors better, it just, just looks better. Again, for a couple bucks, that's a way to go. If you have an old lamp, put an old lamp up you know, behind your computer monitor somehow, um, it'll be fine. Even better if it's a lamp with a lampshade. Um, for video quality, um, again, the built-in uh, little webcam or whatever, they're fine. They're, they're cheap uh, for a reason. Maybe if you get a really good webcam, but probably the better option that people have is a phone. So um, phones have good cameras, especially if you have a last generation phone. So let's look at this. Um, okay, so from the webcam to my phone. And okay, the angle's a little different, but I think you can see the color is way better. It's crisper. Um, I would kind of move it probably to get a little better angle on myself if I was going to use this method. But again, you have a you have a last generation phone. Um, if you can find a selfie stick and some duct tape, or just some way to kind of mount it up where you need it. Um, again, this is one a light and an old phone is sitting there. It's probably the way to go. Um, there's software called DroidCam that I'm using right now that lets an Android phone work as a webcam or um, Epic Cam uh, for iOS devices. Uh, if you have an iPhone, it'll basically make it appear to your computer as a webcam. Um, you just set your phone up wherever you want it and get the, uh, you know, put a power cable on it. Easy peasy. Um, <clears throat> the... Um, the next upgrade, um, coming back to audio, is probably an external microphone. So I have, um, I have this blue Yeti microphone. It's overkill, um, but yeah. So it's a condenser microphone. It's more sensitive than than the little microphone on the the um, webcam or the lav or, or whatever else. <clears throat> um, let's try this. So this is um, uh, sorry. Uh, I just want to make sure I have the um, the noise filter on all of these, and I do. Okay. So okay, still I'm still on the little lav mic here, so I'm going to switch to the Yeti. So this is what I sound like on the Yeti microphone. Um, again, it, it should be kind of a richer sound. It's nicer. Um, if you're looking for one of these, um, Blue, the, the company, Blue Microphones, uh, makes the Yeti, which is in the $150 range. They also make a little uh, microphone, their Snowball, that's $65 Canadian. Um, if, you, if you want good audio, that, that Blue Snowball mic, definitely the way um, I would go. So um, past this, you're into serious professional audio and... Uh, I think you know one of these nice USB condenser microphones is uh, is really a good choice. Um, I have one more step for video quality that I'm going to have to uh, cut here and uh, set up because it wouldn't physically all fit behind my computer. So just a second, we'll get another video choice. Okay, we're back. Um, still on the phone camera that I'm holding by hand now because I have to. Um, the other option, and frankly, I wouldn't recommend this to anybody, but just because I had it, um, I have my digital SLR that it turns out, um, with a little software fiddling, you can set up as a webcam. So let's have a look. So again, this is uh, the phone camera, which is pretty good and I would recommend, uh, but this is the SLR and you can tell the colors better. Uh, it just looks crisper and cleaner um depth of field is kind of cool to have so it's an option and again if you have an old slr lying around or if you don't use it very much which is frankly the situation i'm in um well why not um repurpose it again find a way to mount it at a decent angle put a usb cable to it i, I think i paid a few buck uh, 30 dollars or something i got the ac adapter for it so i didn't have to worry about the battery life but otherwise it was basically free for me because I just had it sitting there and I don't carry it because SLRs are big and bulky. So um, hopefully that helps again, somewhere along the progression. Like if you're buying stuff, my honest advice would be um, either a headset or a little uh, USB lav mic uh, for audio and an old phone somehow mounted up there for video. It'll look great. It'll be so much better than the built-in webcam and audio matters, right? Audio matters a lot. Video, 
maybe it's just vanity but it is nice to have a decent um, picture if you do want to explain something if you want to wave your hands around in a lecture so hopefully that helps some people um, if not oh well i just wasted 10 minutes of your life good luck next semester um, hey, uh, a quick little post fix uh, as I've watched that back. I was surprised uh, how bad that that little uh, lavalier microphone sounded. I think it's probably because the one I have is like super, super cheap. Um, maybe price is a factor on those. I'm not really sure. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out that I forgot in the, the rest of the video was uh, other noise, like keyboard noise, of course, is going to be a thing for me. And with the, the external Yeti microphone here, um, this is what it sounds like when I type. Um, I think because the microphone is a little farther from my face, a little closer to the keyboard, it does pick it up. And let's compare to the headset mic that I have on here. Um, okay, back on the headset, and now I'll type again. Um, again, this, in this case, the microphone is really close to my face and much farther from the keyboard, so it should pick up less keyboard noise. Um, another comparison. Um, I'll try to put some links down below uh, just for all the things I talked about if you want to find them. Uh, they're not affiliate links. I'm not trying to make money here, um, but just so you know. Good luck.